Hi, Dr. D hier. Vorige week maakte ik kennis met Jeroen van Dishman Nederland. Maar zoals Jeroen al vertelde, de oorsprong van Dishman ligt niet hier, maar in India. Hoogste tijd dus dat we daar kennis mee gaan maken. En uiteraard doen we dat niet hier, maar door middel van een Skype gesprek. En uh, volgens mij wordt het tijd om online te gaan. Hi Arpit, Dr. D here. I'm really excited. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about who you are and what your role within Dishman is? Yes, uh, my name is uh, Arpit Vyas. Uh, my role in Dishman currently is also Managing Director and CFO. I'm a chemical engineer by profession, but uh, not practicing, as you can see from the title. <laughs> I'm uh, responsible for uh, basically strategizing and uh, growing the competition group as a whole. At the same time, handling uh, the finances uh, of the entire group as well. So, tell us, uh, where is Dishman actually located and how did it all start? So, I would like to start with a little bit of uh, background. Dishman in India was created uh, by my father uh, almost 30 years ago, a bit less than 30 years ago. He started with uh, one chemist and one operator uh, to fill the reactors and uh, himself. So there were three people in a 56 square meter uh, plant at that point of time. Uh, and that plant has now from 56 square meters has grown into the large uh, multiple thousand square meter uh, Naroda facility, which, which was the first um, plant uh, that catered to uh, pottery ammonium compounds and disinfect for, for disinfectants and uh, phase transfer catalysts. That business did very well and is still doing very well. And uh, the money that was earned out of that, that were at the Pavla, the huge 300,000 square meter facility uh, uh, in the uh, Pavla area, which is still in Gujarat, India, was created. And can you tell us a little bit more about the current developments within the company? Within Dishman, the current developments are multiple folds. Uh, I think the interview would be uh, very, very long if I explain all of them. But uh, in uh, general, uh, we are uh, focusing on uh, contract research and manufacturing uh, for new chemical entities uh, with the help of uh, carbogenamsis uh, as a front for uh, research and development. And we are targeting on five uh, segments of uh, diseases which are cardiovascular, oncology, ophthalmics, any orphan uh, drugs, and uh, also for uh, vitamin D analogs, which uh, has uh, a tremendous future with what we see. Um, not the vitamin D formulator, for formulated product, but the analogs, uh, which can help uh, naturally generate vitamin D in the body. And that we do see as great prospectors for the future. What is the need of the hour? And the need of the hour is for people to live healthily for a, as long as possible. And uh, the developments of the company are solely and only focusing on that. And can you tell us what inspires, motivates and drives you? What inspires, drives and motivates all together is number one is the 3,000 people of the company and the families who make the earning out of this organization. As and when the company grows, uh, the number of families increase. So that point will always inspire and motivate me. What motivates me further is the kind of company that has been created by my father can be used to change the entire perspective of uh, the medical field that, that is present in this world right now. Where we 
only and solely want to focus on saving lives, providing the right medication, which has uh, great efficacy, which helps people um, uh, live longer, and to do the right thing. We want to be a company of substance. We want to create a legacy. We don't want to be uh, a, a company of profits. Profits are a byproduct of the ultimate goal of saving as many lives as possible, as quickly as possible, and moving towards a very hopeful world of eternal bliss. Thank you so much for your time. It was really nice talking to you and I hope to see you later. Bye bye.